really looking like those are the tipping points of this game. Well, I can't wait to see this jungle fizz and how well Tucson will do with it. We're going to get into game one right now. Incredible Miracle versus Spenu. Level. Why opt into a power trough when there's a Cassidy on the enemy team? And there's always the potential of overtaking the late game. The fish does land, so probably going to fall down here with space values to work through. Smart lane gang from Tucson. We were talking about whether he'd get the pathing down. Well, I don't know about this. I do know that Roar having a lot of trouble right there, and that is going to be a teleport in from Apple. They're trying to turn it around. Roar with no HP, but Nuclear having some issues on the outside, and Roar actually going to pop forward with that, trying to sustain a little bit off the wave, and they turn that bearing a whole lot of fruit right now, especially as Ignar walks around with impunity, destroying all the tunnels. Starting to chase here. There's a hook down onto Ignar, and here's the response. Chilling Smite onto Ignar. There's the Alistair ultimate teleport coming in. Sausage in the back line gets exhausted, but the Chaos Storm ripping through. Catch gonna live though, and that's gonna be a kill. Roar will just condemn out of the way, and there is a headbutt into the wall. Can Sausage actually get this kill? There is the Force Pulse to finish it off. Two for none off of that TP, and now Apple's TP back up. Uh, we're going for the turret instead. I think it depends, because whether you actually upgrade the gravity field as Roar will flash out of the way, here's a TP, but Ignar not gonna get anything right there. Fate's Call, Frozen finds himself in a very awkward situation. There's a stun, and the follow-up slow, and there's the Q, Sasin takes the kill, Tucson on the outside. Chilling Smite, flash, and there is a Fizz ult, just a disengage, so. Cassidy was vulnerable, and now he's going for that super big ticket item. In the Trinity Force, will he even ever make it there? Looks like Roar on the hunt right now. Soul is just gonna get pinned to the wall and kill. No Absolutely not. What's up? We're talking about base magic damage values that the Fizz is showing, not any sort of other values across magic damage base. Now Soul is caught, Ignar hits the head by Paul he's gonna die. Baron's probably not a realistic objective, but on the other side. I have a question for you, Monty. So, the thing about baiting Baron against Erexa, it's almost always fruitless, as Vivid might be engaging him. Angel onto Ignar, Raw out attacking the back line, gets a lot of damage, Sasa gets on top of him. Victor is dead as we're finding the fight. Raw still alive, still fighting, but has no mid laner. Only one real threat available, but super low health values waiting for Raw. Stays alive so long, but falls down. Ignar's gonna fall as well. That's three clean kills from Spenu, and Tucson hop skips away, but isn't able to do anything. No, doesn't do anything at all. Drops the ultimate, but that's about all he can contribute to that engagement. Question is, can he steal now? As the Baron is looking like it will be in Spenu's hand, but that Callista going to make it awfully difficult to get in there and actually make a play onto this objective. They see Tucson on the outside, and they're just going to burn this down. Callista's there. There's a smite. There's a rend. And there's a Baron for Spenu Sonic Boom. They fought really well. It's going to pick up Vivid <laughs> on the backside as Tucson. You're not going to be able to lock down this Viz. Actually, they are. Welcome to the Zonia's power spike. Movement over there as well as she can't leave right now while the Baron is being under threat. Maokai teleports back in. I am need to fight. Soul has options here. He won't break the base. They're gonna fight though. They force the teleport. Fate's call used defensively. but waiting to see why Rumble Equalizer comes down. And there it is, Equalizer in the back line. Tucson getting knocked up by the Nautilus ultimate. Soul running through, frozen. Fleeing for his life right now, he will go down. Nuclear finds a way around the edge of the fight. Apple is here, he's very tanky, but even he's not tanky enough to resist that double kill for Nuclear as they trade two for two. Nuclear. And now there's a void. Nuclear played such a dangerous game, staying on the outside of the fight. They're trying to chase onto Raw, who's super fast with the Trinity Force. And Rek'Sai's coming through, can they just rush it down? The equalizer comes in, there's the hook. From Vivid, Catch gonna take the long tunnel and a huge, huge oh. knock up. Holy cow, that is a lot of work. Roar gets targeted down. Sasin just going crazy right here for a triple. And there is Tucson trying to hide. Uh, what? 
Okay, well, looks like I am just going to walk right past, try and push into the base right now, finally get that inhibitor down that they've had their eye on and spend for it, a lot is... of this game. But, man, that was a massive knockup from the Nautilus Assault. The fate call was huge. I believe it was an in instant oh. melee range yep. ultimate as well. A double knockup, the wombo that came through. It wasn't quite Hurricane Callista, but it didn't matter. In this situation, they're trying to finish still 30 second death timers on all the threats. Yep, and looks like they will be able to. Two sit stance, no chance. Dies to the Ignite, Sasin, another kill for him. And this will be Spenu's first game win of the season coming through at 46 minutes. A historic win for Spenu. They played very smartly in two massive fights that decided the game. First, I am made that over engage. We thought it would be a problem for Soul teleporting in, but it paid off in the end as Callista cleaned it up. Then another smart fight wins them the game. The power spike